Demna was back on the runway. Paris Fashion Week, Demna made his triumphant return after being accused of essentially running an underground, kiddie diddling um, organization under the guise of Balenciaga. Um, you know, um, really sketchy stuff involving kids and BDSM, BDM, BDSM bears that they were saying were punk bears, but the internet told them they were BDSM and you're sexualizing children, weird court documents and photo shoots and campaigns with weird court stuff and whatever, just really sketchy, sketchy stuff. And it got to a point where people suddenly had enough of them being the provocateur, them being the antagonist, them being just a bad boy right making these big hoodies and charging people thousands of pounds for t-shirts and trainers and dirty socks and hoodies and ripped up jeans people just had enough and when they saw the kids start they're like ha we can take this guy down because he's not respecting the house that Cristobal Balenciaga built right so they kind of try to kick him out but like every good person out there that makes amazing things and is talented and makes people money counterculture doesn't apply Unfortunately, it does not apply. We've seen it with the Kanye West rumors with Adidas. If you are talented and you make people money, eventually people will come back. Eventually people will come back. All the time it happens. And again, we don't show what the rumors are with Kanye. Maybe they're just rumors. But there is a lot of talk out there about Adidas coming back to the table to work out some deal with Kanye to sell whatever stock they had left. Even though Kanye, even though, sorry, Adidas were really talking a big game about owning the IP and doing what they want with it. Now they're coming back again. The same thing with fashion. Everybody in fashion had a moral stance, a principled stance about the whole Blanchard kids thing. Everyone was pressuring Kim Kardashian to denounce them and whatnot. People were going on news places and interviews and denouncing and deleting Blanchard. People were burning their Blanchard. Some of it fake, but they were burning it regardless making a real stand but once the show was announced again i'm sure the pr person involved in balenciaga's inbox was flooded with invitation requests flooded they probably had to turn people away even though a few months ago just a few weeks ago he was being labeled as some sort of pedo demna and now suddenly he's back the prodigal son so he did say quite clearly when he was presenting or when before the show was going to happen, courtesy of this account that I've got here on my screen, I'm going to load up, bear with me one second. He did say that he was going out of his way to make sure, actually I posted before, it doesn't matter, but um, he did say before that he was going to go out of his way to ensure that this show was all about the clothes. Nothing else. I think he said in the interview I, I posted before, there was an interview I think I had on here, courtesy of Vogue. This one, which I read, then on the record, it says, you know, he basically outlined his plan that he's got, he's done, he's done with the whole like theatrics and stuff. He's going to focus on the clothes themselves. Nothing else matters but the clothes. And I think in one of the statements that he put out, actually, that I think I might have shared on Twitter, he put out an actual statement that says something along the lines of like, oh, um, there's too much like, uh, what do you say? There's too much entertainment or something in in flipping clothes. Too much other stuff. I want to focus on just the clothes itself. So this was meant to be like a big triumph of return. Now, having watched the show live at the time, I have to say, just looking at the clothes, it was a little bit underwhelming, just in terms of what he said before the clo before it started. But if you really focus in on what he said and what he was trying to get back to in terms of the core of Balenciaga and of core of what he's about in terms of making good clothes, it kind of does make sense. But starting the show off with, what's that, three, six, seven, yeah, yeah six black looks that look basically identical to the naked eye doesn't really give you much hope that he was going to go back to the clothes and remind people of what kind of you know fashion designer he was with a capital f but if you look really closely there's devils in the detail there's those are really cool upside down little you know things going on with the garments on the bottom of the hem or some of the jackets it looks like the top of the pants that's really interesting on some of the pants there's like an extra bit of pants stuck on the top that gives it this nice little texture and flow as you're walking and running and stuff and then of course the pièce de résistance I'm going to load up on here are some of the boots. There are some boots in here that I think are going to be ridiculously po popular, as are the glasses. I think those are something to kind of, I think are the main things that really kind of stood out for the Blanchard Full 2023 show were the boots and the glasses that I'm going to try and get up here for you now. As you can see here, there's some glasses there. Those ones over there. I actually need to get it up. Let me, let me actually load it on another screen. Let me another tab. So let's put it over here. Does that work? Or not yet? So, um, let's see if we can load this up. Bear with me one second. Let me just do it this way. So, we've got this loaded. So, yeah, let's, go, let's just click this. Let's click this. So, on this one, 
as you can see here, I think these are going to be some of the more popular pieces that are definitely going to catch people's attention going forward with Balenciaga. But I think there are a lot of people online who've kind of seen this and said, you know what, this is kind of underwhelming. I kind of expected a little bit more from them, especially considering the big game and the big press release and statement that them to put out there to suddenly go out there and now present like, you know, a couple of black looks and stuff. It just looks a little bit dead. But I still think, you know, from the success of previous years of their glasses, you know, I've got a pair of flipping fake AliExpress version ones here. You know, they did really, really well, the glasses. These ones, they did amazing. That this whole this whole season and the season before, these are the fake from AliExpress. They're like five dollars, and they you know they're like fucking actual plastic. But um, the actual legit ones did really really well, and it's obviously them kind of building on top of that and deciding to put out another set of really cool glasses that look like they're a little bit rimless or something, and they kind of have a little bit more of like a V shape, so that more of a height sh a heart shape, so a little bit more aggressive on the top here, and they kind of give you a really good frown. And if you've got your buccal fat removed, they will really accentuate the cheeks do you know what I mean or if you cut your, your freaking beard up here like hard rock neck it'll definitely make you look chiseled so it might actually be the first pair of glasses that you will get that will actually make you have a jawline or cheekbones if you don't have them like actual you know what I mean they're kind of oop, in your face as you put them on so that might be absolutely good so again some nice coats some nice jackson jean again very paired back very sleek very simple very to the point I really like these bags also. At first, I thought the chain link was bees. I thought that would have been quite cool, but it didn't. It's just like hoops. But I thought at first they were bees, but I do like the shape of it. I mentioned in the live stream, it kind of looks like more like a messenger bag, messenger bag, but it kind of flaps over. And I think that's going to be really, really popular with a lot of people. So for, for sure, the glasses and the bags. This leather jacket is really cool. Again, if you look at the details, so on the sleeves, as you can see here, the, the, the end of the sleeves, you have what looks like the top um, the top bit where you kind of bottom fly of your leather pants and stuff. That's what they've got on there. So they've got this really interesting kind of blend. It kind of morphs into one. So you don't know if there are literally legs of pants that have been stitched upside down to make sleeves or if they've kind of basically made the end of the sleeves look like the top of pants. But I do like that kind of upside down flip. And if you look closely at the bottom of the jacket, you've also got the belt loops that you'd find at the top of the pants. And then it's sort of reflected again again on the neck sorry on the collar of the jacket also and again you've got the same sort of glass like i said before obviously this kid is really skinny and he's got great cheekbones but still these glasses definitely accentuate his face and kind of give that really big structured look and of course the pants on top really work well and the same thing goes for the bags but there's a lot of people online saying that hey this is rather disappointing them that spoke a really big game and now this is what he gave us what i mean but you have to look at it a bit deeper and say i didn't see many t-shirts I didn't see many hoodies and I didn't even see, I don't think I saw any trainers. I don't think so. Maybe I have to look a bit closer because there's like two pants covering the, the, the feet. But all the things that people kind of mock Demna for, basically over, you know, charging people $500 for a t-shirt and nearly a thousand for a hoodie and stuff. And basically saying hoodies and t-shirts are like the height of luxury and whatnot, which I agree with, right? Being able to take these like staple streetwear items and kind of lux them out and make them in great shapes and great fabrics. And because I own a couple of Blenshaga hoodies and Vetimar hoodies from Demna's era. And those things are bulletproof like i've worn them to raves i've worn them out and about they've been covered in burger sauce and drinks and whatnot i've washed them a million times because i don't bother even drag him i wash them in like with regular clothes and they still hold so they are actually pretty good quality clothing but you know it's hard to justify spending 900 dollars on a hoodie really that looks on the face a bit like any other hoodie but still um i think the glasses are going to be very popular people are going to be really impressed with those when they eventually come out but like a lot of people online are saying they're not really impressed by it but i really did like a lot of the collection i think like i said the sunglasses the bags were really cool but the other thing that was really nice and again this jacket also look at that I love whatever they do here with this. It's kind of like taking kind of from them this time at Margella. And obviously, of course, Margella kind of pioneered this thing where this ability to sort of like push the back or whatever it may be up on the top. I'm pretty sure that's where it's cut. So instead of it, instead of you thinking it's actually full, usually the way they cut it, it wouldn't be full of something on the shoulders to make it have this really exaggerated look. It's usually cut in a certain way that makes it just pop up like that. So that's something, again, that's like really high level tailoring and pattern cutting. Um, and that's the ability to make sure to make stuff look baggy and look tight and look long and look constrained but look relaxed at the same time it's amazing these are the other glasses that i thought would are going to be very very popular these ones in particular um if you see them they're essentially uh they don't look like they've got any sort of discerning rim on them and they kind of if anything look a little bit similar to kanye's shades that he did with gap that never end up coming out 
the ones that were basically just one wrap around the kind of like a mirrored sort of thing with a rope and that's what you got here with these glasses so they kind of just look like you know that sort of vibe on them and they look really really nice and they're kind of done in this little silver uh, gray steel type of look which looks really really cool i think a lot of people especially guys within my scene in terms of dance music are going to be all over them and there's an, another pair of combats here that balenciaga again don't get enough credit for making really good combat. I know this, you can't see it here because it's basically black and my screen isn't the best, but these combat pants are going to be great. They fit amazing. Um, you've got these amazing big pockets in the front. It looks like you might have a reinforced knee here, but they just usually fit amazing and work really well with the shoes that they make. And if we continue on, the other thing that I thought would be really popular are these motorcycle boots that look like they are standard motorcycle boots that you would get, right? Like knee high ones, but look like they've been made with rubber. So they kind of, kind of adopting and carrying on that kind of uh, rubberized design language that he's been pushing so far these things i think these are going to be really popular with people so essentially they kind of remind me of a boot that demna did with blenshaga maybe in 2017 2017 i think so 2017 um where essentially it was the same sort of thing uh basically but that was more of a real life kind of motocross boot but then this is sort of like done in the same way. And I think it's been made of rubber. That's my initial re response when I saw them. I thought they were made of rubber. And again, the sunglasses here are going to be super popular here. This is from what? Look number 30. These sunglasses will be really popular. Again, it's the same sort of one I saw before in silver. But these are now in black. Um, and it look like they've been molded in one piece as well, which looks really incredible. And again, they got these motorcycle boots. Instead of black, you got them in a different color. Um, the only thing I don't like about them personally, because I'm just, it's a bit, I'm a bit finicky with this sort of stuff. I hate pointed stuff. There was a time in my life where I used to wear squares and shit. That was the last time I wore like pointed shoes. I like myself to be a bit more rounded or squared off and whatnot. Maybe because as well, my feet are fat, so they don't really usually fit in these type of things. But regardless, these look really, really cool. The boots of how they looked up and stuff and um, the different sort of paneling these are kind of in a white and black colorway but i think these are going to be really popular and for sure we're definitely going to see kanye in these right maybe the hoodie isn't for everybody's taste this kind of shrunken elongated hoodie with these pads on the shoulders looks really cool but i think if i'm not mistaken this look like this might be inflated I've got a feeling this is kind of like an inflatable inflatable hoodie. It looks like it anyway. It feels like it's got some sort of air in it. Maybe it hasn't. And then again, in the glasses, you've got this nice mirrored gold look going on here with these wraparound glasses that look like they've been molded in one piece. But like I said before, the response online hasn't been the greatest to these. People haven't been liking them. You've got the same hoodie, the same glasses again in blue. They look really incredible. And again, the boots and stuff. But people haven't been liking the collection and saying it's a bit shit. Personally, I love it. And I think it kind of ticks all the boxes that them that want to do in terms of returning the focus back onto the clothes. And you have to look at collections. I look at the collections not as a singular, as like a continuing story. This is the first collection back after the after the pedo allegations and whatnot so you want to kind of ease people back into kind of understanding your vision again or accepting or being comfortable with you presenting clothes and the best is to do it get rid of the theatrics get rid of the craziness especially this this paris fashion week there were so many fucking silly theatrics that took away from the clothes and just kind of focus on the fucking social media side of it but this is just about the clothes it's kind of bare around environment you know minimal in terms of soundtrack no crazy dance music playing in the background and just a focus on the garments themselves and obviously the attention to detail and what's been done in terms of the cut and whatnot. And then you're hoping going forward that you're able to kind of then grow and build from that. So I'm pretty sure the collection after this will be a little bit more showy, a little bit more out there because I was missing the addition of amount of a kind of rain jacket, right? That there was no rain jacket. It wasn't that kind of stuff there, which I was always kind of a big fan of what Demna does with these sort of um, mountaineering 90s rain jacket type of things, but that wasn't there. Again, another uh, addition there with the boots, as you can see. And then we'll definitely check out a highlight this is one of the highlights i think that kanye mentioned on his instagram kanye made a post on instagram recently highlighting this particular look and i guess maybe he thinks this look has been molded after him but you know i would actually like one day to be able to wear um what you call it um what do you call these things again uh where they're matching t the, the top and the bottom uh a fucking catsuit or whatever but unfortunately i've got way too much ass at the back and way too much junk in the front to make that work it, you know, if you, these are the type of things that you only have to wear if you're a girl or you've got a really slim body. I think if you're a dude and you pack any kind of meat, 
regardless if it's fat or muscle, you're going to look absolutely wild in these kind of uh, onesies and shit when you go outside. But Kanye likes to look. Maybe he thinks Demna kind of, this is sort of like Demna's um, ode or tribute to him. I'm not too sure. Maybe this is what they're giggling about in the, in the flipping group chat. But Kanye's um, text back onto social media was to kind of showcase this look. And maybe it's because the glasses look similar to the ones he make at Gap. But again, the boots, I think you're going to see Kanye in these ASAP. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. You're going to see him wearing those boots. Um, but then I quickly went to also mention the response from other fans online, actually, because some of the fans here, courtesy of this Instagram account, it's like a Blint Sugar kind of fan account here, which is the Knife Boot Nerd. And on his post, some people have been voicing their frustration. And they said the following. Um, what someone here says, fashion system is changing and probably the whole gimmick played by Blenshug in recent years had reached a point of no return. In some ways, the only way for the brand to move forward was to go backwards. Another person says, I wish them that took the backlash and just trolled them even harder. What? So what do they want? You wanted more kids on the runway. You wanted to do a whole show with just children. Like like children that are going to like some beauty pageant. That's not a good idea, brother. And Blend Sugar is a multinational corporation. Do you know what I mean? They can't afford to have people going to their store and spray painting it, um, picketing outside of it. Do you know what I mean? Or burning their stuff. Like, it's not good. And also, imagine, like, um, a lot of the quote-unquote black and brown community are quite sensitive to kids' stuff. And they're the ones that buy most of this Balenciaga, except for Chinese people as well. So if you have the black and brown people getting turned off from your brand because they think, you know, you did all kids and shit, you probably have to resuscitate it and, and revive it and put the faith back into it again and, you know, basically make them comfortable enough to know that, hey, we're not doing that again. We're going to go back to making some nice shoes so that they can keep buying your triple S's and your fucking um, sock shoes and shit. Anyway, the guy continues. I keep thinking about Viv or McQueen and how they reacted to backlash and criticism um, about the provocation clothes they made and the shows that they put on. I definitely blame Kerry and Group and Blenchard and shareholders for twisting these arms to create his tone. What? What? He's the one that put those teddy bears. Again, I watched the show. That show was great. It's a mud show. It's the one that Kanye was the opening look at. That's where the BDSM teddy bears debuted. Those BDSM teddy bears were given to models to hold in their hands as kind of quasi bags. I think they actually might even be bags. They might actually got a zip in it where you can stuff things in, you know, stuffing things in a teddy bear, holding up a thing, but regardless, no one cared. But everything is about context. Everything's about nuance. The moment you put that bear in the hand of a children, in the hand of a child, it immediately changes the flipping um, conversation around. It makes complete sense. It's like a harness, same sort of thing. You put a harness on some gay guy in Bergheim, no one bats the eyelid. You put a harness on a four-year-old child, all of a sudden, you might have to go to prison. Do you know what I mean? It makes complete sense. And Demna is the one that proved all of it. I love Demna, but he's culpable in the entire thing. He is the overseer of the entire operation. And again, the Demna thing is annoying too because on one side, he's the, he's the flipping design genius. He's the one that we have to give credit to reviving, to not, not reviving, but making Blenciaga what it was, doing flipping, you know, genre-defining, um, influential stuff at Vetterman during the time that he was there. But then when he does a kid that did and stuff, suddenly it's not him. It's a big team. I work with other people, production companies. It's like, no, 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 no. If you can take the glory, you have to take the hate. It just is what it is. Um, I blame the Karen for twisting his arm to create his toned-down show filled with old silhouettes and cuts and models but who knows maybe Demna himself didn't like the direction he was going in whatever nonsense another person here says um everyone needs to rewatch and look at the collection again so many great styles were worn were shown sorry no logos and more tailored looks that were art every brand's moving forward yeah true that's a good thing to mention as well there were no hoodies from my recollection no t-shirt no there were hoodies the zip-up hoodie sorry but no like hoodies with like the pullover with the logo no t-shirts and no trainers for the most part and no even baseball caps it was all just like stripped back and paired back um it looked like a a ready-to-wear version of couture if that makes any sense and um, demna just proves he understands uh christopher balenciaga's uh legacy but he's no, his legacy, but his, his collections. He brings those Margellisms to life, which I personally look for. I wish there had been more variety of accessories for man, but his collection will sell based on being classic Demna styles from his time at Balenciaga. It wasn't a funeral to me. It was, oh, because people are calling it a funeral. Wow. It wasn't a funeral to me. It was what Demna had said, just focused on clothing and tailoring. Looks 24, 26, and 28 are so chic, crazy futuristic for the men's fashion. Look 44 was my favorite, and addresses at the end will definitely make the red carpet i hope them not mm, i'm not too sure 
if you're if you're a celebrity, you have to have some balls to wear um, Demna on the runway, on the red carpet. Essentially, you have to have some real balls because the questions that you're going to be getting on that red carpet. Woo! Um, I hope Demna continues. I, I wonder if Chris Lee is going to wear Balenciaga for his special filming. That would be funny. I hope Demna did um, continues to invite celebrities. They are not essential to the brand. Oh, not to invite the celebrities. Okay, cool. So it was basically more industry people there. Then it was also very smart. This is a great collection of details. Some of y'all need to look again. Or a person. I personally really enjoyed the show and the collections were very futuristic and minimalist. Um, I felt like an early Demna Balenciaga show to me, but better. Less emphasis on logos and shock factor and more on silhouettes, proportions and shape. And last person here says, I feel like the people were expecting a dramatic comeback with a dramatic over-the-top show and that's not what was delivered. Overall, a good collection, but in all honesty, boring compared to previous shows. Perhaps that was on purpose, but pretty underwhelming. Of course it was on purpose. Don't you read his fucking interview? Fucking hell, people. He says, I'm going to pair it back. I'm going to become more focused and focus on the clothes. People online. Oh, my God. It's like, come on, man. That's what he said he was going to do. So let's actually check out some of the, um, what you call it? I want to see the actual, uh, I want to see some of the close-ups or some of the stuff that was shown in the show. That's the note that he kind of left there telling people that he was going to be a focus on the show. I think the, the, the bit that people are laughing him about was one of the end bits, I think, here. Um, he says here at the end. This is why fashion can no longer be seen as entertainment, but rather as art of making clothes. So if you look at that stuff and you see all the black and you see all the same looks, it's quite funny that he would make that big grand, you know, proclamation and then deliver that. But, you know, I still liked it personally. Um, it continues. Yep, people are going to be liking these motorcycle boot things I mentioned before that look really cool. Again, another version of the boots. Um, hopefully we we'll see some glasses here. People are making mockery of some of the previous collections saying it was cool. Do we see the glasses? I want to see a close-up of the glasses. No close-up of the glasses? Come on, show me the close-up. The bag looks really nice. It's a crinkled leather effect. Let's see. I think that may, I think maybe that other account had the had the, the close-up of the glasses because I want to see them because I think they look really cool. I think this account here, my face went oh. Let's see this account. I think this account had the close-up of the glasses. Bear me one second as it loads. There we go. My face went oh. Did they have a close-up of the glasses? Booty, 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 boop. Yes, they do. So these are the glasses. They look really nice. I think so anyway. It looks like they've been molded in one piece, which looks flipping incredible. Look at that. I don't know if they're metal or if they're made out of some sort of like resin or if they're made out of plastic that's coated, but they look incredible. I don't know how you see from behind them, but they look really, really cool. So these are going to be all over the flipping, you know, techno dance floors wherever I go out for sure. People are going to be all over these. And they come in black as well. The earrings are really nice. You've got these really nice ear cuffs here, which I want to get. I need to get a pair, actually. A pair of ear cuffs to come on the inside. Just won't work well with my flipping, you know, noise cancelling headphones. But they look pretty nice. You've got another one here um that got rims on them they look at it look at it a little bit like carbon fiber or marble on the outside here with these mirrored mirrored lenses they look really nice and again you've got these got wraparound glasses uh, and they kind of look like a facelift don't they? they kind of give you instant cheekbones so i think a lot of people are going to definitely like these and again they come in black also and gold ear rings and gold ear cuffs so yeah I'm, I'm i'm a fan i liked it i enjoyed it i thought it was good but i also understand if you're if you're expecting some razzle dazzle that you might look at these and think you know what not the sharpest and of course these are the motorcycle boots that i think you're going to definitely see kanye wearing and maybe i'm wrong maybe they aren't made the rubber they look like they've got like a normal padded lining on the inside here. Um, so they might not be made of rubber, actually. Maybe they're actually just a regular uh, motorcycle boot, uh, but they've changed the look of them. But I don't like how they're pointed they are. I know they need to be pointed because I guess actual motorcycle boots are pointed because you're meant to be able to change gears on them, right? That's the whole idea. Um, so maybe they need to be a little bit pointed to kind of allow you to change gears. But I would like it to be a bit more rounded. But they do remind me of those motorcycle boots. I think it's from, I think it's 2017. Balenciaga or something I think so I think so I think it's 2017 Balenciaga that they had the pair of um, running boots whatever same collection that they had Balenciaga where they debuted the triple S's I think was the one where they had um, the one that debuted the triple S's was the one where they debuted the motorcycle boots I'm actually going to double check here and see if I can see it quickly on my phone but I'm pretty sure whichever the one where the triple S's were debuted was one where I remember that motorcycle boot was from let me quickly see if it loads up on my phone. I'm scanning now, scan below. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's full 2017. One of my favorite collections ever, actually. They debuted these motorcycle boots. I'm not sure if you can see them from my phone because I don't want to get on the screen because my computer's crap. But they debuted these ones here. 
that one there can you see that so you can see a little bit can't you there that motorcycle boot in 2017 that looks a little bit a little bit similar to that thing there a little bit similar not really the same thing but you know what i mean you know what i mean so yeah so big up them now full 2017 so full 2023 it is what it is people like it people don't what can you do it is what it 